Hey guys, Neptune Man. All right, let's go take a look. Today, I have another washer. I got an email from a guy named Ron, and he's got a um, washer that needs bearings. Okay, so okay, cool. We're gonna email back and forth. He's kind of worried about the shaft because it must be uh, maybe it's getting loud for a while now, and he's just now looking at fixing the bearings. And um, I said, yeah, you know, just send it back if you if shafts damage, you get the machine apart. Yeah, go ahead. Now he's got a Whirlpool Duet WFW70HEB W0. And this is my fourth Whirlpool Duet now that you don't want to buy. Okay. It, 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 okay. So, um, and the reason you don't want to buy them is because the tub halves are glued together. Now, I don't know if you can buy this machine new. It might be like a, uh, you know, a special clearance or something because it's an older machine. It's about three years old, I think. So, and the reason you don't want to buy it is because you can't change the bearings. The tub halves, you know, they're gluing it or welding it, whatever they're doing. You can't take them apart, okay? So with that, you'll have to purchase a new tub assembly. And you look at that. So you do have an option to fix it if you want, okay? So let's go look at the um, email from Ron. So we're, you know, down here we're talking back and forth. I said, yeah, you can send it back if you don't, you know, if you find out you got more damage, just write RTS on the package and it'll come back to me and I'll refund it. But then he says, oh, I have a WFW70 HEB Zoom. I would like to order bearings and silk kit and pay you. Okay. I said, oh, Ron, it looks like you have one of the newer Whirlpools where you cannot change the bearings and seal because the tub halves are glued or welded. I just started creating some blog post videos for these models to warn people that you don't want to own them because you cannot replace the bearings and seal. And it seems that clients are getting only three years out of the washers before the bearings fail. It's three years. And I gave the three links to the blog post I did. And I'm going to have to do a fourth one. I'll add this one to it. And uh, it looks like I need to do a video for your WFW70. And I gave him a link to the tub if you want to buy that big tub assembly. And I'm sure he got sticker shock. Okay, he wrote back says, Jeff, really appreciate the advice. Thanks. And you were right. Just about 3.25 years is what I got out of it. Shameful. I think he's talking the Whirlpool. That shameful right there? That's going back to Whirlpool. Take care. Which, yeah, they probably don't care. Take care and good luck, Jeff Ron. But I care because I want to save you guys money. And here's the problem. Whirlpool and their infinite wisdom, they want to make this one big tub assembly. They say, oh, it saves us labor because we can weld it with a robot or glue it or whatever they're doing over there. And they can get rid of people. And uh, plus, they don't got to stock one part. You know, this big freaking tub assembly. It's going to be big. And um, that's what they're, you know, they're, that's what they're saying. But anyway, here's an older unit, like a WFW 9200. If you can find one of these on Craigslist or eBay, I would snap these up because you can fix these and get another 5, 10 years out of them. So, you have the back half, you've got the front half, you've got the basket. You can buy all these individual, okay? And uh, you can fix it. The new stuff you can't fix. You've got to throw it away. And here's the tub assembly. Today, today's uh, December 10th, 2016. The price on that tub assembly is $667. So, you buy a washer machine, it's all nice and pretty, and you've got chrome and LEDs and stuff on it says whirlpool do it it only lasts three years the machine looks pristine perfect but you got to pay 667 dollars to wash your clothes again because the bearings went bad what do you do do you pay 667 dollars or do you scrap the machine and buy an lg or a samsung but the problem is all the manufacturers may go to this you know robotic system if that's what's happening so um and then if one manufacturer comes out and they allow you to repair the bearings or replace them, they'll they'll have a lot more sales. So that'll be a definite a benefit to the consumer because they can repair them. So um, I don't know. It's a tough question. Do you scrap a three-year-old machine or put another six hundred bucks into it? I mean, it's like buying a car, you know, and a car only lasts three years. Is that acceptable to you guys? I don't know. Say the engine blows after three years. That's pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. So anyway, of course, I get all the negative feedback. We may have clients out there that's getting five years out of them. I don't know. I only hear about people that need bearings right now. And Ron said he had got 3.25 years out of the machine. And that's still low. It's, I mean, it's like they're making these machines just to get past the year warranty. And uh, you know, I've heard they have people on staff that all they do is try to take money out of the machines. 
to reduce the cost, you know, where they can save money and make the wires smaller and, you know, they say copper and which is good if they pass that price along to you, but they can't affect the reliability though. So um, three years is just not long enough. And if they're doing it on the washers, they do it on the refrigerators and the dishwashers, you know, do you not want to buy Whirlpool anything? Because it's all built the same? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but that's your question. You vote with your dollars. So if you don't want to buy a Whirlpool, don't buy it. But I'm going to come up, if I find other models, I'll do videos on them too. Like, you know, Kenmore Elites are probably, most of them are Whirlpool. So uh, even though it says Whirlpool Gillette, you, I should put Kenmore Elite in here too, because you probably should stay away from those, the newer models. So anyway, Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man, I hope this was help you. helpful. I want to save you guys money. I'm always looking out for you guys. If you have any questions, please contact me, and uh, I'll do some more videos. Uh, we'll call these people out that can't make these things last very long. Okay, that's just frustrating, you know. But, um, okay, well, you guys have a great day, and I appreciate you. Thanks. Bye-bye.